One of the purpose that Avoni Spa Milk Salt serves is to tackle stubborn dark areas like elbows, knees, knuckles, toe knuckles. So in the next one week, I'm going to tackle just those areas with the salt and see if it actually does work. So follow this journey with me to the very end by watching this entire review. Also like, comment and share and subscribe if you are new. And remember to shop your hair and eyelashes with us at www.sharegorgeous.co.uk. Let's begin. If you've not seen the packaging yet, this is how it looks. So it's predominantly pink and white. It's got black and blue writings on it. Now the product of salt itself is in finer granules. It feels like the finest of sugar. And it's got some instructions at the back to guide you as to how to use the product. It smells really good and the measurement or size of the product is 300 grams beautiful product and it says triple action or whitening effect at the front magnesium carbonate improves the appearance of skin reduces acne and other skin disorders Arbutin helps to fade hyperpigmentation, aid spots, melasma, and also to protect against the sun. Other key ingredients discussed in my previous video, which I'll link up here, is sodium chloride, milk protein, and allantoin. I used it for three days in a week. And in each day, I used it just once a day. Now the back of the product says it's really good for stubborn dark areas like knees, elbows, knuckles. So I thought I'd give it a try. Now, before you start, you want to moisturize the area. And then next, you apply the Avoni Spa Milk Salt and then you exfoliate. I prefer using an exfoliating brush, but you can go ahead and use your hands. And yeah, once you're done, you wipe the place or clean it with warm water. You wipe it down with towel and then you moisturize. You can moisturize with a non-skin lightening cream or a skin lightening cream. So I've showed you some of the products I used and I'll link it down in the description section as well. I'd recommend you use it just once a day and just three times in the week. That's all you need to get the results you want. And do bear in mind that the product is expensive and it is a small quantity. So if you're going to use it every day, aside it being too strong for your skin and possibly affecting your skin negatively, you also be wasting the product and that means you have to buy a new one soon and you don't want to waste your money. So just three times in a week and once a day is all you need to get the result you want. And you guys know I'll never stop saying this always use a sunscreen after applying your moisturizer especially if you are going to go out in the sun you want to use a sunscreen to protect that area you are lightening so that it doesn't get back to its former state or get darker again so yes always remember to put on a sunscreen wearing a sun protective clothing can also help prevent the area from getting dark again or just your normal clothing to cover up those areas so it doesn't get darker again also helps so that will mean wearing a long sleeve or trousers to cover up the elbows and knees so it doesn't get dark again or get exposed to the sun 
and get back to the former state we were treating it from. I also recommend you use it with other skin lightening or whitening products like a cream or a lotion. I don't know if Ebony does a cream or lotion. It would be perfect to just pick up their range of lotions or cream and use it with a salt. But if that's not the case, you can always try other brands to quicken the process of getting the face lighter, looking fresher and getting your skin tone even. Because of the kojic acid and fragrance in there, please if you're watching me and you have a sensitive skin or you have any skin conditions or issues, please do not use this. Just don't use it at all. I'm literally begging you refrain from using the product because if you do that, it's going to trigger your skin sensitivity or it's going to trigger or worsen that skin issue or concerns you are having. Think about it, if you have got eczema and then you are applying this, it's going to rip off that dry surface you are meant to be moisturizing and it will affect you, make you uncomfortable, the place will irritate and you don't want that. So please do not use it if you fall under any of this category. Hey ya, yeah. sorry for interrupting. It's just to quickly remind you to subscribe to this channel and turn on the post notification if you've not done so yet so you don't miss my future uploads. These are the areas I would recommend you use the product which is your bikini line, underarms, your neck, elbows, your knees, knuckles, or toe knuckles. This brings us to the end of this video. Let me know any comments, suggestions, questions you have got. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.